the strongest and only Esper. The results of doing nothing but training my psychokinesis. Part 1 I became a third year at the university. With the beginning of the new school year, student life and work also started up again. I heard two four years busy with job hunting, but psychokinesis training keeps me busy enough as it is. The lucky muscle has grown so that its power can be compared to the atomic bomb Fatman that was dropped on Nagasaki. Because the power of the modern atomic bomb is not the same as the ones at the end of the World War II, I can't be sure that I could stop an atomic bomb with my psychokinesis. But put it another way, my defense can't be broken unless it's mastered with, with an atomic bomb. I am a one-man army. However, there are still a lot of flaws. I can't use psychokinesis while sleeping, I can block light, and blocking radiation is probably impossible. I completely caught unaware if an attack comes from my blind spot, and I can avoid being poisoned. Although I'm not planning on facing any dangerous opponents, I notice while listing flaws that some of them could be solved, and once you notice something, you want to try it. Superpowers are profound, trailblazing through unknown territory makes me hard pound. I can stop. The first thing I'm going to sharpen is the awareness of my psychokinesis, creating a true sixth sense. Not the intuition or divine insight kind of sixth sense, but one that is a different sensation created by my psychic abilities. If I can do this, not only can I prevent surprise attacks, but clairvoyance is no longer just a dream. Training for the sake of developing a sixth sense will involve using my psychokinesis to hold but not lift various heavy objects and experience the specific changes in the body and ontology muscle. This will now be the key to training, to know the weight of an object by the burden it places on the ontology muscle. In other words, the reason for this training is to experience variations in the heaviness of objects through my psychokinesis. This will make it possible for my powers to not only be an amazing invisible muscle, but to also become a sensory organ that obtains information from the outside world, just like the eyes, the ears, the, and nose. To start with, I dove into the Japan Trench and lifted two masses of sea water with only slightly different weights. I just barely am unable to lift the amount of sea water on the right. However, I'm just barely able to lift the amount of sea water on the left. I need to learn the difference in sensation between these two amounts. I secure air for myself by stretching a barrier across the bottom of the ocean. And then, while holding the flashlight, I repeatedly lift and release the masses of sea water. Again and again and again. Focus. Concentrate. Don't think. Feel. I must be able to accurately distinguish the low down telaki muscle at the unconscious level. Just like how an old lady working at the vegetable chipper can tell the weight and size of the potatoes they ship just by holding them in her hand. And just like how, even with normal hearing, it's easy to tell that the explosive sound of a motorbike that is blowing in the middle of the night is greater than the sound of a dropped one yen coin. You don't think, hmm, the sound of a one yen coin or the sound of a motorbike, which is bigger. I want that sort of thing. By learning to feel with telekin muscle, I'll make a real sense out of the sixth sense. Somehow, it became kind of fun. I broke a convenience store box lunch and spent Saturday and Sundays crushing deep sea fish while training, but then I realized that it wasn't training that I had to do separately in the trench, and after returning home I shifted the direction to comparing the weight of 90 gem apples to the weight of 30 gem orange. Training at the bottom of the Japan trench, I guess giving a guy trench and make him run towards extreme things. This isn't a jump manga. There's no meaning in the so-called eccentric training. I mean, there's no cliché energetic Wow, that training had such a meaning! Wow, I'm getting stronger! Development and no desire to show off the results no matter what. Partly because, unfortunately, there's no place for an active demonstration of the results of my training. It's true that there are no experts other than me. The world is wrong, is what I should like to say. But, in truth, my existence is probably the actual mistake. With an empty mind, I compared the difference in size between a large and a small spoon and the heaviness of various rocks while also completing a paper for class. I wanted to prize myself when I came up with the training by comparing the weight of vegetables in the supermarket vegetable section. 
Judging the weight of the vegetables allowed me to pick up the good ones, which was a relief budget-wise. Then, after two months, it became possible to sense and judge the load on Teleki Muscle. It's the awakening of the sixth sense. After being able to sense the load on Teleki Muscle, I wanted to increase the area of application for the sixth sense. Then, I will be able to see the weight of any passengers by, motorbike, or cars that pass over the psychokinetic membranes. With this, you can perceive enemies that are in stealth and invisible. What? I don't understand! My invisibility should be perfect! Ha! That's what you get for looking down on psychokinesis and the sixth sense, you bastard! Like that! Isn't it cool? The problem is that there's no enemy with an invisibility skill. Fuck. Well, if I expand the psychokinetic members spherically and at the breathlessness of about a tissue, I can notice if someone breaks through the membranes and invades. It's useful for surprise attacks from behind. Practically, this perception barrier already has a track record of making surprise attack useless. It helped me to avoid a pointed finger combo to the face from a friend who was sneaking up behind me on campus by turning my face over my shoulder. You didn't conceal your presence very well, I said with a smug laugh, generally ignoring their rather sad expression on their face. Now, I awoke to the sixth sense successfully, but I can still train. Not yet, it's not over yet. To find the weight on Teleki Muscle is a so-called tactile substitute. I would like to extend this to all five senses of human beings, namely vision, hearing, olfact, taste, and tactile perception. I want to use Teleki Muscle to see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. If this can be done, it even becomes possible to get a hint of other people's movements. So far, the range of my powers has depended on my vision, although it is possible to use it anywhere within visual range, I can use it in places that I can see. If I gain psychokinetic vision, I can for example see the location that my psychokinesis has been triggered, further activate my psychokinesis upon seeing the activation point. By practicing this process, the so-called real range can become infinite. Until now, there was only a radius of 300 meters with me at the center. However, if I visualize the center being further away, I can leverage the range of my psychokinesis beyond 300 meters. I used my psychokinesis to fly from Okinawa to Hokkaido. I slurped a fresh guava tea while watching the Sapporo Snow Festival live. I can do anything. And on the day when I added in hearing and augmentation, it was no different from being in the real Hokkaido without actually leaving Okinawa. A tornado appeared in the US. I saw it on the live broadcast of it on the TV in the cafeteria, so I used my psychokinesis to fly over and stop the tornado. The broadcast on the TV showed the tornado being pushed back by a mysterious power. The startled the students and the cafeteria ladies were really noisy. And then, without talking but with an realistic smile, I devoured my 380 gems and suck you on. At last. I have been increasingly using both remote psychokinesis and the sixth sense while physically remaining at home. I should be at an underground bar with black clothing and a hood to conceal my identity while drinking tequila and watching summer TV broadcasts. But I am an ordinary college student, such atmosphere is impossible for me with my current expenses. If you enjoyed this video, thank you very much.